For a brief moment today, a rural town in Australia was able to witness a once in a decade phenomenon, a hybrid solar eclipse. The town of Exmouth and the surrounding coast have been seeing visitors pouring in from across the country, even the world, all to get a glimpse and maybe even the best seat of this solar event when the sun, the earth and the moon all align to awe-inspiring effects. Yesterday, sign I'm from the U.S. Yes. Yeah, 42 hour flight to Perth and then drove up from there. That's a long way to come. It is. <laughs> How many eclipses it. have you seen? I'm not certain, but around 20. The SpaceX Starship rocket lifted off today, but it didn't get too far. Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, took off in South Texas. The super heavy rocket booster, which houses 33 engines, sent a massive boom across the coastal landscape. It then soared out over the Gulf of Mexico and exploded, as you see right there in midair. The spacecraft failed to separate from the rocket booster. Afterwards, SpaceX tweeted, with a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help them improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. I mean, the whole job of test is to find out what goes wrong, to let things fail. You can, you can you know, pretend as long as you want, but eventually you got to go actually launch this thing. And that's when you're going to really find out what's right and what's wrong. They, and they were so successful today. The first test flight comes after years of explosive tests, regulatory hurdles, and public hyping from SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. SpaceX believes Starship could be the rocket that returns astronauts to the moon or even takes the first trip to Mars. If you'd like to watch the video of that launch in its entirety, we have it posted for you over at KATC.com.